Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. I have so many lemons. These are fresh lemon. Right off my plan. And I'm going to share with you today a lemon chicken curry. I don't know if you have noticed, I have a new hood. When you see the previous videos, I used to have a hood right there. I modified to this hood. I put the fillers and it looks very decent. How did I do it? Please watch my video on my other channel, Sidhu DIY. The hood, I'm going to install the 36 inch hood right up here. I just thought I should share with you. These are the fresh lemons from the tree and uh, I'm going to wash it then I'm going to extract the juice. This is a skinless, boneless and it's a six and a half pound. It's 2.94 kg. The things I'm going to use fresh tomato, onion, ginger, good amount of garlic, four hot serrano chili and tomato sauce olive oil for turka spices from masala dapa when you are making a chicken curry it's always a good idea you make a smooth gravy and to achieve that consistency if you have a food processor please take advantage of that we're going to put onion tomatoes ginger garlic green chili into food processor we're going to make a smooth paste and that paste is going to be our tarka and we're going to cook it well. So let's get started. This is what I'm gonna do. These are the lemons, so just wash it. There is no chemical added, these are uh, homegrown lemons. So after washing the lemons, and we're going to cut it in half. And they are full with the juice. We're going to put it on the top and just going to squeeze it. As we press it and squeeze it, all the juice will extract it out. This is good. There are a lot of juice from one lemon. Look at the juice. You can use a pulp as well. I'm going to use see. I'm going to filter the juice. All the pulp will come out and we're going to have fresh juice. If your lemons are not sour, then use more lemons, but these lemons are really sour. So I'm going to use a half cup. I use two lemons. And we're going to cut it open. The chicken breasts, these are frozen, but I took it out a couple hours ago. And these are individually packaged into the bag. These are skinless, boneless. I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces. Onions, we're going to make a small pieces like this. This is good enough. So I got four onions and we're going to have a good amount of ginger. It's a good idea to cut the ginger in a smaller pieces. So this is all approximately one big garlic clove. So the tomatoes and green chili, that's the paste we're going to make it separate. So I'm going to start it. So as you've seen, it doesn't take that long. Within 30 seconds, we are all done. The onion paste is done. To do we're going to start the gas first we're going to bring the cumin seed and bring olive oil you can use any vegetable oil quarter cup olive oil as the oil start to heat up bring cumin jeera three teaspoon I'm going to turn the pan on and I'll bring 
on in. Now we're going to cook our turka really well. So keep stirring so it won't get born. Keep it moving. As the turka is cooking, I'm going to get the tomatoes, discard the back end, and cut the tomatoes in smaller pieces, and put it into the chopper. and green chilies. This paste we're going to use it later on. Once it's nicely cooked, then we're going to add it. So this one doesn't take long either. If you've seen, it's a nice smooth gravy. Now back to our tarka. Cooking our tarka for five minutes. It's nicely brown. Now we're going to add tomatoes and the chili gravy. This is the green chili and the tomato paste we made it. So keep moving. We're going to cook more until this one is cooked nicely. Cooking of a turka for another five minutes. Altogether we cooked the turka for 10 minutes. Turka is perfectly cooked. If we notice now, Tarka is not sticking to the pot and also the oil start to ooze out. This is a good indication Tarka is fully cooked. And now we're going to bring the tomato sauce. About half can. And we're going to mix it well. At the same time we're going to add the spices. The salt is always to taste. So three teaspoons and we mix it. This is the grinder, grinder powder, dhania, three teaspoons. Turmeric powder, haldi, three teaspoons. Garam masala, two teaspoons. Keep mixing. This is the Kashmiri mix, it's not hot. It's a kind of mild flavor, but it brings a nice color to our chicken. Two teaspoons. So keep mixing and we're going to cook our spices along with our tarka for one minute. Cooking our spices for another minute. Now I'm going to bring the chicken. And once we're going to add the chicken, we're going to keep mixing and we're going to cook chicken along with our tarka. We're not going to add any water at this moment. We're going to cook chicken with turka for 10 minutes. First we're going to mix it well and we're going to cook it along with the turka for 10 minutes. Cooking chicken with the turka for exactly 10 minutes and we stir it many times. And now we're going to get the lemon juice and we're going to add lemon juice. After adding the lemon juice, we're going to mix it. Once it's nicely combined with the lemon juice, spread it evenly. And we're going to bring the gas to medium and cover with the lid. And we're going to cook it for five minutes. Exactly five minutes cooking on a medium gas with the covered layer. I'm going to open it. This was the reason I use the Kashmiri mirt. The Kashmiri mirt gives you a nice color. And now we're going to mix it well. After mixing it well, I'll bring one cup of water and mix it again. If you need a running gravy, please add according to your taste. But this will be perfect. Keep the gas on the medium and we're going to cover with the lid, cook it for 10 minutes. 
after five minutes, we're going to open it, we're going to stir it so it won't get burned at bottom. After 10 minutes, we're going to see if we need more curry. It's exactly 10 minutes cooking with the closed lid. I opened it after five minutes, I stirred it once, and now another five minutes. So all together, we have a 10 minutes of cooking. Delicious lemon chicken is all ready, and now the last ingredient is kasuri methi. So we're going to get kasuri methi, put it on our hand, and we're going to rub it. Only reason we're doing, if there is a bigger strand, we can take it out. Mix it well. After adding the suri methi, we're going to bring the gas to simmer and cover with the lid again. And we're going to give only two minutes. It's going to soak all the delicious flavor from suri methi. And our dish is going to be ready. Another two minutes on a simmer. I'm going to turn off the gas. Open the lid. Lemon chicken is all ready. This is the perfect gravy. If you need more running gravy, as I mentioned, you can add more. But one cup water is perfect. And look at this. Nice color. So I have my serving kurai ready. And I'm going to dish out. And I will share with you. Look at how delicious. Lemon chicken curry. Let me share with you. Lemon chicken curry. It's so easy and so quick to make and it's super tasty and super delicious. Please try it and if you like this recipe, like always, like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.